Sup guys, welcome back to more Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. You might be wondering, isn't this a Skyward Sword LP? Well, I did say I was going uh, to play Twilight Princess HD at the end of the last episode. So here's Twilight Princess HD, because I could do that. Oh, what's that? You want me to go back to Skyward Sword? Oh, what's that? Um, you're not actually saying that because no one watches me, and even if they did, they couldn't watch it live. Ugh, fine, I'll go back to Skyward Sword. This is such a better game! There's no one to talk to us. Usually when we leave, there's just some random NPC that's like, Oh, Link, go here now, but there's no one. I mean, wow, that, that, that's such a strange thing. I was like, oh, who's, who am I going to voice this time? But I guess because there's no NPC. And, uh, I mean, no NPC we met before. I guess there was the Gorons. Anyway, you're probably wondering why I'm not going straight back to the sky. Well, again, we are mixing things up. Whoa, this is Twilight Zone creepy, spooky shit going on. Uh, I believe this should be it. It is not it. Okay, I believe this should be it. It is not it. Okay, maybe it's 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 this hole. But oh, there we go. I wasn't I was um I wasn't sure if that was the hole or not because it was already open when I dug it earlier. I wasn't sure we can actually um go in it again. But I guess that answers my question. What doesn't answer my question is why I can't turn. But I turn, and now we're gonna emerge. No, I said we're gonna emerge. Good Link, who's a good boy? Axel's a good boy, but Link's an okay boy too. Ooh, fairies! Do I have any bottles? Ooh, yes, I do have a bottle. Let's fill up the fairy. Though I think we have two friggin' fairy bottles now, even though we should really only have one. And then potions for the rest. Let me just... Yeah, we have two, I guess. Um... I guess what we'll do is we'll have two bottles and then we'll store a fairy bottle, because we don't really need this. But we have an empty bottle stored in the bank, so we'll take that out instead. So I'm not sure we can get this goddess cube yet or not, because we did get an extended Skyward Strike, but on the other end we come here later, and no, we cannot get it, I don't know why I even showed this, but I wanted to show it because I, actually, let me, let me try one more time, once more with Felix, alright, line it up, and Skyward Strike, no, we cannot get it, we have to save that for later, but the reason I wanted to show this is because I wanted to mention something, um, we're not, um, we're not gonna cut ahead to getting the goddess cubes because we've now completed all the temples we set out to complete and I think you know what that means based on my enthusiasm of my voice right now. Ugh, god, I hate this part of the game. Why can't I go play Twilight Princess HD? I mean, that would be hilarious, just switching LPs mid-project. Be like, oh, hey, we're not doing Twilight Princess anymore. But, I mean, we're not doing Skyward Sword anymore, we're doing Twilight Princess. That's right, we're back at the sealed grounds after completing a series of dungeons. And I think you know what is coming up, especially what I said the last time this happened. You can probably tell from the title of the video as well what's coming up. And let's talk to Pointy Hat Grandma. Ah, your sword! There can only be no doubt. The Sacred Flames of Purified this blade. Well done, Link. That sword holds tremendous power. That power is sacred force! The, the Star Wars Force? It is a divine power left by the gods of old. The same power that is spoken of in the Ballad of the Goddess. And excuse my voice, it is going in and out. To look upon you, there's the same great power. Now floating through your... Now flowing through you and the sword you carry. Come, Link, you know, you must now open the gate of time. Seriously, why is my voice rasping? Now that the sacred force dwells within your plate, strike the gate of time with a skyward strike, and it will surely awaken. Climb upon the pedestal and show the gate your sword's power. In green text, because it's important. Let's go in the gate and skyward. Strike! Oh. Woohoo! No, I feel that the seal's given away once again. That terrible beast is awakening even as we speak. Yes, that's right. It's likely that the monster reacted to the sacred power given off by your sword. I wish it not happened. Same here. Same here. I wish this did not happen. Why are they making us fight this boss again? 
All right, bring it on. Or was that Groose that said that? It'd be funny if the old lady said that. Like, bring it on. This is what I've been waiting for. It's time to bring out the new toy. Trust me, the flabby bag of teeth doesn't stand a chance. And you can see Groose seems a lot more confident and a lot more boss right now. Because Groose is just amazing. And he's developed into his own confident character. He's no longer shackled by his... his um one for Zelda and being in Link's uh, shadow. He's found his own destiny, his own purpose, and that's what makes him such an amazing character. And I won't stop praising Groose enough. And he is actually going to be really important coming up. Hey, Link! Da ha ha! Try not to drool on your shirt as you stare at this amazing super weapon I've been working on. I call it the Grusinator! Oh no, Grusinator, not Grusinator. Leaves you speechless, doesn't it? Ha, it's funny because we can't talk. That's only natural. You wouldn't believe how much time I put into building this beauty. Here, check it out! I don't really need a demonstration, but go ahead. First, look, oh my god, even Grus is now is uh, shackled by the tutorials that plague this game. As fight in chatting with him, first I got all the fences cluttering the area out of the way. Then I laid down rails for her to run on. All by myself, of course. I don't know what came over me. I had no clue I had the talent to make something like this, you know? Anyhow, you just tell me where you want me to place my shots, and I'll put a hurting on that ugly monster. Yes, yes it is ugly, and annoying! I don't care how beefy you are. You're bound to stumble for a few moments after taking one of my big bombs to the body. God, I love this guy so much! Hang on though, that monster showed up a smidge sooner than I was expecting. There are a few final adjustments I gotta make before she can move on the rails I put down. I'll call you out when she's ready for action. Till then, do whatever you can to hold off that beast. Ugh, God, I'm just so freaking. I, I just don't wanna do this! Why do you think I wanted to play Twilight Princess HD? Ugh, Skyward Sword's a good game. Twilight Princess is way better, and this part is just unbearably stupid! a pair of hands. Great timing, because timing is everything. I hope it knows how to catch, because my machine has a mean right arm, Lenny face. When she's all loaded up, I'll let you know. Until then, do what you need to stop it. Well, I mean, I guess it's fitting. We just had a rematch against Gearham, one of the more fun bosses in the game. And now we're having a rematch against the Imprisoned, one of the worst boss fight in the game, and possibly one of the worst boss fights of all time. God, I, I won't stop complaining about this because it's just so stupid. Why would they take a generic, boring, annoying boss and like make you fight it twice? And great, now he's climbing. This that this does spice it up a bit and change it up a little bit, but it's it's just annoying. It's not fun, and my voice is cracking because I'm so sick of freaking complaining. Hey Link, my machine's all loaded and ready to smash. If that flabby suck of teeth tries to try and climb the wall, I could blast it up from here with a bomb. When you want some backup, with me, just send me signal with the control sign. I don't really know what that is. All right, Groose, do your thing. Oh, wide! It's time for Groose to explode into action. That'd be a funny smash intro. Groose explodes into action. Adjust the machine position with that, and then aim your target with a Wii remote. Once you finish aiming, press that to launch your bomb. If it hits, you'll stun the scary sucker. Scaly sucker, not scary sucker. Scary scaly stu sucker. And if you break the controls, press that anytime you're in control of the Grusnader to review the basics. Thank you for the tutorial, Gruus, once again. I did not know you are friends with Fi. And Gruus, you've been awesome, lady. I could say you're the bomb, and I hope that hits, because the beacon wasn't on it. Oh, there we go. It hit. Good job, Gruus. You're useful. Huh! She packs a mean punch, doesn't she? I tell you, I was in love the first time I pulled this lever, Lenny Face. I start loading her back up with another bomb. So keep eating on Big Ugly till I give you the signal. Alright, time to beat on Big Ugly. Die, Toes! The first little piggy got slashed by the sword, and the second little piggy got slashed by the sword, and the third little piggy went electricity on Link. Okay, let's try this again. And the third little piggy went electricity on Link. Okay, I want to try this again. The third little piggy went electricity, I mean, 
flash of the sword. Not electricity on Link. No, don't climb. I was just about to kill you. Okay, no, never mind. I thought he was about to climb. But instead he toppled because I can't tell the difference between this thing looks so stupid. And great, I think we're blocked of getting around. Okay, hopefully we could just parkour up here and get to the sword before he resurfaces. I don't even know if you take too long, he resurface. I'm going to assume you do. If not, that'd be ridiculously stupid. Then again, um, describing anything ridiculously stupid with the boss is not surprising. Because everything about this boss is ridiculously stupid. It's it's boring design. It's boss fight. The fact that you have to repeat fight it like 50 billion times. Because spoilers, this isn't even the last time we fight this thing. I do like um, Groose's use. Uh, ha, rhyming. Um, on this though, it, it kind of makes up for it a bit, and it's kind of fun. Probably the only fun part about it, because you have to aim and fire. It's kind of easy though, and kind of, it's it's not much of the boss fight, and it's kind of easy. And instead of running to him, let's see if we could shoot our arrow at the toe to kill him. Though I think it would have saved more time to like run to him, and then we could have got the other toes instead of spending the time on the one. But he doesn't seem to be moving much. Let's first little piggy got killed. The second little piggy got killed, and the third little piggy got electricity on Link. Okay, let's try this again. No, no, no. Okay, we're doing. So, man, it's a good thing I got all those hard pieces. Or no, I'd probably die to this thing because I'm sucking so much. Because I'm just so freaking flustered with this whole situation that I'm not really like thinking or concentrating because I'm I'm busy commentating on how much it sucks. Because um. Quite honestly, my favorite part of commenta commentary isn't just uh, people making jokes and stuff. I like hearing people complain a lot or address issues. And I, I know I'm kind of over-exaggerating my thoughts a little bit, but it's kind of makes it more entertaining, though, to, like, you know, like, put a lot of emphasis into what you mean. Or else, if you just say, yeah, I don't like this, people won't really care or won't get the point across. But if you be like, this guy sucks, people will be like, wow, this Jared really hates this thing. And, like and it'll make them realize how awful it is. So it is a bit like, I don't like hate it as much as I'm putting on admittedly, but I'm doing it on purpose, not just to make it more entertaining, but to like make the message across that I really don't like this guy. Cause that's why I, I don't just do this with Let's Play. I kind of over exaggerate my, um, my, um, my, uh, my personality in general to like, like for example, when I was playing this game with my friends, it's, it's this, it's this actually a really fun game called, um, Quelf. I keep using it with Quiplash because there are two games I like to play with my friends and and they both start with QU. Anyway, so with Quelf, um, uh, there's a part where, um, what was it? What did I have to do again? I'm trying to remember, but I over-exaggerated it. Oh yeah, I had to say bleeping in every bleeping sentence. And I wasn't just saying, hey bleeping guys, what's up? I'm like, bleeping this, bleeping that! Like I was purposely over-exaggerating it for comedic effect because it makes it more entertaining for people and it kind of makes you own the suffering it makes you like like the suffering is yours to control that, that that's that's actually like what i like to do like that it, it, it's also fun just over exaggerating yourself in general and i find it funny that most let's players like purposely over exaggerate themselves but they don't talk about why they do it they just like think it's genuine reaction but no i'm admitting that i'm over exaggerating a lot in this project but I'll admit it, like, it's not something I'm ashamed of so I can try to hide. I'm not, I'm not some sort of, like, scummy person that's, like, putting on a personality. Well, I guess that's not scummy. That's what a lot of people do. But I'm fully admitting I am pu putting on a show to be more entertaining. Because, honestly, one of my uh, previous Let's Plays, like, some of my previous Let's Plays, I didn't really have this mentality in mind. And looking back on it, it's kind of a boring, uninteresting project. Because, so, like, I, I thought for, like, this one, I purposely, um... You know, and he's going too fast. Maybe I can use Groose to slow him down. I think you only use Groose when he's climbing. Uh, I don't really know, but... Okay, I'm just going to shoot him with the arrow here to slow him down. And, okay, okay. There we go. That's one down. I'm going to the other. I guess I could use Groose. Are we near the... Are we seriously near the... Okay, I'm just going to throw a bomb at him see if that slows him down at all. Oh, wow. That actually killed some of his toes. I didn't realize I could do that. I don't know why I wasn't thinking. I feel kind of stupid for not using Groose, even though he kept calling me, because I thought the only purpose of Groose was because I, I again I haven't played this game in a very long time I thought the only purpose of Groose was to um stop him from climbing I didn't realize that um you actually uh need him to like hit him at times I thought it was just to stop him from climbing and because of that he's near the end already but I think we're about to yeah shit if we lose this that's gonna be like pretty pathetic but I think this will be the last hit anyway because I'm pretty sure you've gotten two hits on him already and you have to block the thing all right, let's see how I can get around. Where, where, where is he at anyway? Where the hell did he... Did I fall? Oh, my God. The friggin' cutscene pushed me off the edge. 
I didn't even realize that, but I'm kind of glad it did because I could get around easier. Okay, let's finish him. Sky I mean, not Skyward Strike, but DIE! Spike with a skyward strike and restore the seal quickly. Okay, let's jump down to the center because it's in a spiral, so it makes it convenient to get backtrack to the center. It's a good thing we don't have to walk all the way around again. It was still bull how that guy pushed me off. I didn't even realize I got off. I was really confused. I didn't even regard this skyward strike. And now for some phantom hourglass stuff where you have to draw something for no reason. Oh god, I hope I can do this right. Down! Diagonal left! I said diagonal left! I said diagonal left! There we go. Right! Diagonal right! And we made a literal hourglass out of that. Though it's tilted for some reason. Nice work there, Lynn. Of course you couldn't do it without me. But no need to thank Gruz. I know I saved your tail. Gruz is so confident he doesn't even need people's approval. He knows he could do it on his own. It's just amazing to see how much he's grown. Now let's not get that gate of time thing up and running. I'll go ahead. Because the magical thing about Zelda is, um... I mean, well, not Zelda, Link, is like, you see him grow in his adventure, which was best exemplified in Ocarina of Time, where he literally becomes an adult to at the like towards the end. I know it's time travel, but it, like the metaphor is there. But one thing that Zelda doesn't do often is like show how the world changes around you. Again, Ocarina of Time did that too, because the uh, everyone aged up. But like Gruz, you like while you're on his adventure, you can tell he's been on his own journey too. And we don't need to see it because that's not important. The fact of the matter is, we had our own journey, and we could see Gruz has changed during his as well. It's not like he was the same character while we were developing and changing. No, Gruz. Gruz changed too. Changed probably arguably more than Link, because while Link learned, like got the Triforce. And stuff like other pieces of Triforce and whatnot. Actually, I forget what we were getting, to be honest. But while Link got all that and kind of grew up, Groose, like you could tell, grew up. Well, Link, you kind of have to imply it a bit. That's why Groose is awesome. And if you don't like him, why? It seems you were successful in imprisoning the monster again. Thank you, Fi. I just realized Fi hasn't actually showed up this episode yet. You're my thanks, Link. Nice to you, Groose. Oh, Groose got the granny's approval. I do not wish to dwell on what may have happened if you two hadn't been here. Oh, that's so sweet. Gruz was important. He was useful. Da ha ha. You give me too much credit, Granny. You are the one who got me to stop feeling sorry for myself and put my energy into doing what I could do to help. I did what was necessary to get you realize your. F oh wait, no. I did what you. I did what was necessary to get to get you to realize your full potential. Link, you must wonder what just what it is you've been fighting out there in that great pit. It was the imprisoned. There's much I could tell you, but suffice to say it is the root of evil we face. When you pass through the gate of time, you shall learn more. We may seal it and reseal it until it's prison a thousand times, but it will always shatter the bonds out confining. Such is its awesome power. You're describing a, a formidable creature you're terrified of as awesome? That's a weird adjective. You must destroy it. You must destroy it at its source or suffer the fate again and again. There's no time to lose. Hit the gate with a skyward strike. You got it, Grandma. Come on already, charge that sword of yours with the sacred force stuff and Granny was talking about and zap the gate of time. You got it, Groose. Right on, Granny. Indeed. What was with that? Did anyone just see the frame just change there? Like, she didn't animate back. It just, like, the frame just changed. Weird. Indeed, not when go to, go to the gate. Okay, we'll go all the way right here to the gate and we're gonna do one final. Well, not the final, but Skyward Strike! <laughs>
not fear it. This is what we've waited for. A long lost the gate has been reactivated. Standing before you is a path that transcends the flow of time. It is a portal to the past, to the very place where Zelda now waits. How does she know that? Whoa. Go bravely, Link. If everything is as I suspect, the union with Zelda you fought so hard for lies beyond this gate. No, don't worry about me. I'm gonna hang back here, Link. Ah, uh, he's not desperate to see Zelda anymore. Oh, just... It just, like, warms me in my heart to see how much Groose has grown in this time. That stupid monster doesn't know when to quit. And Granny Ear keeps yapping on and on about how we never know when it might bust free again. Someone's gotta stick around and guard the place. Might as well be me! Oh, he's grown so much and I love his theme. Besides, if I'm not here, who's gonna look out for the old girl? And you know what? <laughs> no, forget about it. I want to know what you say. Seriously, how can you not love Groose after all this stuff? Oh my god, like, how can you just... just I, I, I have no words to describe I love for him. Well, I've described it plenty, but just... How can you just not love this? When you see Zelda, Tiara said, What's up? 